These are case notes on number 1522. Patient's name is Leanne Purvis. Suffers from paranoid delusions due to severe stress in her personal and professional life. After 60 consecutive weekly sessions, I am unable to make any progress with the patient. In fact, she has been getting worse these last few months. Every week, she comes in with a new delusion. If I am unable to make even the slightest progress with her today, I'll have to refer her to Dr. Thompson, and this will most likely be our last session together. Dr. Richards. I thought things were improving between you two. It's not that. I think... I can't believe I'm going to say this. I think Michael is the midnight maniac serial killer. Wow. That is an extremely paranoid thought. What makes you think that? I know. I didn't want to believe it at first either, but... All the clues point to it. What clues? He's always coming and going. Weird hours. He claims he's working, but I checked, and he's lying. That doesn't mean he's a killer. There could be a lot of reasons he's coming home late. When he comes home, he goes straight for the shower, like he's trying to wash away the evidence. Maybe he's not washing away evidence of a murder. one night. I followed him just to see where he's going. And he checked into one of them seedy motels. And he stayed there for hours. There could be another explanation for that. Ugh, you don't understand. The Midnight Maniac uses motel rooms as torture dens. I've been following the case for months. My husband does everything he does. And found a pair of women's underwear in the back seat of his car. Uh, Mrs. Purvis, I think you're misunderstanding the clues. No, the newspaper. The newspaper even says the Midnight Maniac keeps ladies' underwears as souvenirs from all of his victims. And there's more. I found boxes of condoms in his glove compartment. The Midnight Maniac. He uses them on all of his fingers as to not leave any prints. Are you sure he's not using those condoms for something else? <sighs> what else can he use them for? And I found a bag in the trunk of his car. And it had handcuffs and a leather whip. That's what he uses to bind and torture all his victims. All the other victims had been whipped, too. There's more. I was looking through our credit card receipts, and he's been buying women's lingerie and jewelry, and he hasn't given any of it to me. Okay, I think there's another explanation for that. The news says that the Midnight Maniac dresses like a woman so that he can gain the trust of his victims and lure them back to the motel rooms. Mrs. Purvis, you're completely misreading the situation. What God finally convinced me was last night. Calling him, calling him. And finally, someone picked up. And it was a woman, and she was in pain. I called him during the kill, and I listened to the whole thing. Are you sure those were screams of pain? I know what a woman dying sounds like, doctor. She was fighting for her life. She was making noises like, oh, 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 God, oh, God. Oh, for Christ's sake, your husband's having an affair. What? You think? Get 
the best of you again. But I am married to a cheating bastard. How could he do this to me? <sighs> Filthy, low life, scum, sucking douchebag. Mm -hmm. I'll show him. found this number in his cell phone. I didn't recognize it. It's got to be her. I'm going to find this woman. <laughs> and then I am going to blow her goddamn brains out. Okay. Calm down, Mrs. Purvis. Let's not do anything rash. Hi, Dr. Richards, this is Michael Purvis again. I need to schedule an emergency appointment right away. I had another blackout last night and I think I did something horrible. I think, I think I might be the midnight maniac serial killer. Okay, call me back, bye. <laughs>